Comatose Chronicles, The Prophet's Return by Ryan Baker. As I slowly regained consciousness, I was greeted by an unfamiliar sight. I was lying in a bed, surrounded by soft, white walls and the gentle hum of machinery. I tried to sit up, but a sharp pain shot through my head and I fell back onto the pillow. I closed my eyes, trying to remember what had happened. I was an astronaut, the first person to explore beyond my universe. My ship had malfunctioned, causing me to bump my head and lose consciousness. I remembered the panic and fear as I drifted in and out of awareness. But now, fifty years had passed. How was that possible? I opened my eyes to find a group of people gathered around me. They were dressed in long, flowing robes and their faces were filled with reverence. One of them, a tall, imposing figure, stepped forward. Welcome, one who saw, he said, his voice filled with awe. You have been asleep for a very long time. I was confused. What do you mean? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. You were chosen by the cosmos to see beyond the veil, the figure explained. You have been in a coma for fifty years, but your body has remained youthful and vital. We have built a religion around you, one who saw. You are our prophet, our savior. I was stunned. A religion, based on me. I didn't remember anything about seeing beyond the veil or being a prophet. I tried to remember my past, but it was all a blur. What do you mean by the veil? I asked, my mind racing with questions. The veil is the boundary between our universe and the others, the figure explained. You are the first person to ever see beyond it. You have been given the gift of knowledge, the gift of the cosmos. I was overwhelmed by their words. I didn't remember anything about seeing beyond the veil or having any special knowledge. I tried to speak, to ask more questions, but my throat was dry and my words came out in a croak. I don't understand, I said, tears pricking, narrator says. At the corners of my eyes. I don't remember anything. The figure smiled and placed a hand on my shoulder. Do not worry, one who saw, he said. You will learn. You will remember. You are the chosen one, the savior of our people. I lay back in my bed, feeling a sense of unease. I didn't know what to believe. I didn't remember anything about being a prophet or seeing beyond the veil. But these people believed in me, believed that I was their savior. I knew I had to find a way to understand, to remember what had happened. But for now, I lay back and let the soft, white walls surround me, letting their belief in me give me strength. The end.